Yes, yes, cover me under your blood. Oh my goodness, what a song. A beautiful one there from Clarence Joseph Scott. And as we get ready to go into our time of prayer, I want you to understand who you are in Christ. And understand and remember that his divine power, that's what the word of God has said. His divine power has given us everything we need. So all that we need for today, all that we need for this moment, his divine power has already given us everything we need for life, for love, and for living godly. And sometimes I think about it and I'm like, why do we forget? Why do we forget that we already have everything we need to live right? to live a, a victorious life. It's the human nature. And God's love for us is more than we can imagine. And so let us, let us really just purpose in our hearts today to seek God for understanding, understanding of his word, understanding of the power of his word, understanding of what he has already given us. You know, on my way to work this morning, I, I've really fallen in love with that scripture that says, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And sometimes I like to go to other versions and other versions, that sound mind, other versions say self-discipline. Another version says self-control. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, one. So when fear comes for anything, you just say, I know God give me that. So back off, fear, go. God has given us power. What do you need power for today? To rise above uh, a challenge that you're going to face? What do you need love for today? To love somebody who is not lovable? Maybe somebody who have your name I carry all over the place? And what do you need self-control for today? Me put up my hand first. Me just on a mission. Me don't want to have no sugar today. This week. What, what do you need self-control or self-discipline or sound mind for? God has already given you the power to overcome. So when you are faced with anything this morning, as a matter of fact, before you're even faced with it, just keep repeating that word, the word of God over your life. God, you've not given me fear. So whatever it is that I'm facing right now, whether it's a, a relationship or, or a fear of paying a bill or, or, or whatever, you did not give me fear, but you gave me power. But you gave me love. But you gave me a sound mind, self-control and self-discipline. 
And so Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, holy and righteous is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in earth, in me, as it is in heaven. Give me today what I need. Help me not to be like the Israelites who some of them go out. After you tell them, only take up what the manna, the manna that you need for today. Don't take up what you need for tomorrow. Help me to be satisfied with what you give me today. Forgive me as I forgive others who have hurt me. So many have. But that's not the point. The point is I must be obedient to you. So help me to release Help me not to walk in fear, but to bind fear and release faith, lose faith in my heart, in my life, in my space. Only in you, mighty God. So have your way, Lord. And as persons who are listening on the radio or watching on Facebook Live, Lord God of heaven, Jehovah God, we cry out to you this morning. And we ask you for your peace, which passes all understanding. Your peace, which changes situations. Speak peace to our minds this morning so that we won't be flustered, but we will be still in you. And know that you're fighting for us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. For that spouse who needs peace in their heart, in their home right now. For that mother who's crying for their child, peace of God. For those who feel displaced and can't find a job, you need rent, you need, you need food, peace of God. Peace of God can't have full belly, but you have to have peace of God to have faith. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Only in you. Only in you, God. Oh, only in you. I find peace. So cover me. Cover me, God. Hallelujah. Oh, cover me. Cover me. Cover me. When I don't understand, help me to trust you fully. 
Peace of God, cover me. Just keep saying it. Peace of God, cover me. The peace which passes all understanding. The word of God says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer, by supplication, and then your bossa prayers with thanksgiving. Let, let this peace fill your heart. Hallelujah. Mighty God. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. And I thank all of you who have joined in the prayer this morning. I just pray that God will cover you and keep you. We could just live upon the word, digest the word, eat the word, keep the word in our stomach. Keep it, keep it, keep it. When we're faced with the worst of situations, peace of God cover me. We heard from Clarence Joseph Scott with Cover Me Under Your Blood and Mark Condon just now with Cover Me. This is Love 101 FM, the family station. I'm Nadine Blair and uh, Brother Hope, you wake up early, man. Good morning to you. Blinky from St. Elizabeth also. Good morning to you. The time I love it is 545 and we now invite you to listen to Morning Manor. Morning Manor is brought to you by the Central Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Food is something we can easily take for granted. At Hallelujah. least until we're either really hungry. Man, I thank you so much, so much, guys, for coming on this morning. For the light, the behind everything. We need a lot of light in here. <laughs> but, you know, I was coming to work, and that was just a word in my spirit this morning. God has given us everything that we need. Sorry, I'm looking down. But the Lord God has given us everything we need. And the enemy will try his best to, to, to let us feel that we are less than. To let us feel that we have no hope. To let us feel that we, we, we no matter. But God says to us today, I have already given you everything. He is Yahweh. He keeps his word. He keeps his promises. Him not go left way. So go out with Christ today. Yeah, man, Clovis, go out with that today. Speak it over your life. Even when you don't feel it, speak it until you feel it. Speak it until you know it. Say what you saw the word said in the Bible. Say, speak the words until you hear it in your spirit and you believe it in your heart. All right, bless you. I'm going to take a break and then we'll come back again at six. God bless you. Thank you so much for making it. Love 101. I'm Nadine. Ciao for now.